And when I turned the corner from where we had parked, I saw Grenfell Tower still on fire. And that point, I suppose, is when I became an activist, thinking that can never, ever happen again in my lifetime. If you see something that is questionable, question it. And that is a fearless act in many ways. I feel like that's what activism is. It's you're, you're speaking your mind and you're speaking to the people who have power to create change. I think activist is a, is a big title. I think it just needs to be diluted to anyone who cares about other people and the, the, the surroundings in which they live. And if you care about the people and the place that you live, then maybe you are an activist. For Grenfell, um, there's been a silent walk that happens every 14th of the month. Something small, whether it's walking in silence with your community, can really snowball and have massive effects in Parliament. When the Grenfell Tower disaster hit, I think it really did, uh, my skills that I picked up campaigning for Rethinking Economics came into full use because it opened up a public inquiry and community members were allowed and invited to step into uh, the space where um, the actual inquiry um, members and lawyers were and they were forced to listen. They were forced to listen to the community. The Grenfell United are the main lobbying body for the Grenfell Tower disaster. They've actually made it possible for cladding, combustible cladding to be banned in the UK and that's an achievement by a, a group of people who just would not take no for an answer. When I was volunteering, I found that I was introduced to other people's struggles purely because I was meeting people every day. Intersectionality is something that's so important, especially to a person like myself. I am a black female and, you know, where it concerns structural injustice, I don't just experience it on one level. However, we have come into an age where um, intersectionality is a part of the conversation and I feel like a lot of movements are coming up you know, they're waking up to this, this actual um, conversation. I think a good way or a practical way to kind of end some of these intersectional struggles, whether it be race, gender, um, ability, anything you want to fall into, if you have friends from other cultures who struggle in different areas, you yourself will learn a whole lot more than just reading a book about it. Um, and so when we came down to the car park that's just opposite Grenfell Tower, um, it was during Ramadan, it was hot, it was, it, you know, the temperature was hot, the sun was out, um, and the Muslims were fasting, you had um, loads of different communities come together. The Sikh community set up a, a, um, a food stall and they were serving curry and rice and, and, and food and water and everything. And people were asking the Sikh community, oh, can I get a chicken curry? And the Sikh community said, well, no, because we're vegetarian, you know, why would you ask for a chicken curry? And so loads of people were offering the Muslims food and water, and the Muslims were, were politely declining, saying it's Ramadan, and they said, no, no, please, please take. <laughs> and it's quite comical when you see the conversation, but it's also quite um, heartbreaking to think, how do we live in a city that is so diverse, yet you understand nothing about other people's cultures? When you go down to the institutional racism or you go down to sexist decisions or you just find yourself in situations where you are vulnerable, actually I must take up my responsibility to either fight for myself or fight for other people who are suffering like that. What we need to do is actually create a sense of apathy and empathy around 
different people. So that's what I'm fighting for at the moment. You must do what's in your hands. You must do what's within reach of you. There's no point trying to save the world across the world because you have to start where your community lies. And so um, that's what happened with myself and Samia and a lot of other young people who volunteered. We started off with what affected us on the ground um, and then had opportunities to help others um, in, in different instances. The burden is uh, at first being afraid, but once you let go, you can really speak truth to power. Oh, my God.